All right, out here mowing hay. It's not very thick. This, see over here, gets thinner. But it'll make a few bales. I stopped, I heard something rubbing. This stud that's supposed to go through there, hold this cover broke. So the cover's just sitting on the belt. I'm gonna have, I don't have tools on the 1066 yet. Being that it's a new tractor. So I'm gonna run up to my other tractor with it and get tools and probably just take that cover off for now and then have to get a new stud later. To fold it up, you wanna flip that up, otherwise you'll punch a hole in your tarp with the latch over there. Everything else in there looks like it's going good though. Everything else sounded good. Just gonna pick it up and head up to take that cover off. All right, so I took this off. And then I was thinking, probably want to cover on there, otherwise we're going to have a whole bunch of hay wrapped up in it. So, I took this bottom one and moved it up over here, and then we got this one over here. So, I think if I put the cover on there now, we still have two studs at least at the top, so it won't be letting it flank, flop down on there. It might... Uh, flop a little bit at the bottom but it'll still be a good cover for keeping most of the hay out of there here's the broken stud but yeah this is probably going to be two hands to get this on there maybe I'll bring you back. So this is why on my 560, I keep a 9 16th wrench, a pair of pliers, and a very large screwdriver. That was all I needed to put that cover back on. I also have starting fluid, hitch pins, and a half inch. Between the half inch, the 9 16th, the screwdriver, and the pliers, you can fix about anything you need to on a 560. But apparently you can also fix a New Holland three point hay bind, disc bind. I'm out here breaking hay. Got the old 560 with the V rake, eight wheel. Wish we had like a 10 or 12 because this is second cutting and the cows grazed it over winter last winter. So it's not that thick, 
Need to get some fertilizer put on. But uh, I raked two into one, obviously, and then I, I just went through again and raked it all back, one row towards the other, one row towards the other, all the way across, so now I'm gonna rake those two rows, those two windrows into one, so it'll be like four nine foot mower passes in one, and that'll be a pretty decent windrow. Uh, it looks like it's actually gonna make a little more than I thought. We'll see once I actually start bailing, it's pretty light hay. And then I got all that over there to do still. So I've done, once I go over it one more time, I'll be half done with the field. But these rows go faster because they're longer. Less turnaround, less time wasted. But I'm gonna get to raking, get you guys a short little clip of that, and then probably be into bailing. It's good and dry. I got just enough light, I can see all the belts moving, 
head good. I can see the gauge over there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Make sure I'm staying in the green. I can see the gauge up there for how big the bail is, just in case you want to watch that for the monitor. So that bail's good. Get out. probably going to be our last bail. I got, I mean, there's only 30 feet here. That was all that hay. The hardest part about this is no side lights or lights came off the side find it the next row. I forgot my, I went a little too far. There it is. Yeah, you can see hay. See the moon? Got a crescent moon tonight. But, yep, getting the bail. Uh, that bail we just kicked out was bail number eight. Uh, this bail probably won't be all the way full, but we're gonna be about eight and a half to nine bales. Like I say, last time I got six, so two more bales, I'll take it. Yeah, this one's probably going to be a 45 to 50 inch bail instead of 60. So just under 9 bales. Of course, I ended up on the wrong end of the field. Because I got one little end row around the hill up there left of you. But, ah well. I'm just going to shine the lights out across the field over here. Make sure, yep, I don't see any hay. Do a circle. Then we'll go back this way, make sure I didn't miss any over here. Like I say, that was the hardest part about mailing it tonight. You can't uh, find the next row. Oh, is that a row? Nope. Worried myself. Just a little bit taller grass. I must not have, must have been when I was adjusting the hay vine. A little taller row. But, Alright, well, there's one of the bales. Just thought I'd show it to you. Looks pretty good. Good and tight. Good and round. It says 60 inches on the monitor. I think it's probably just over. Which is fine. Probably could have brought the twine out couple more inches here but we've been getting into some light hay over here it comes all the way out to the edge we'd been getting into some light hay and the ends were kind of curling in with the twine it was kind of pulling them so I'd bumped them in a little but this hay wasn't quite as light as the last field I guess but still good bales uh, like I say got almost nine of them I don't know if you guys can see there's one over there and then we got one over there, a couple over there, a couple down there, a couple up over there. But I just wanted to say, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, have a good one.